Hey y'all and welcome back to the Browse Bunch. This week's What's for Dinner video is a good one. I'm sharing four meals that we've had this past week and y'all, they were yummy. So make sure you stick around to see all four of the recipes, but I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get on into it. Tonight we're having some jalapeno popper grilled cheeses for supper. Travis isn't here yet, so I'm not making his yet. And the kids won't have jalapenos, so that's why there's only one. I went ahead and cut it and took all the seeds out. I've got some bacon cooking on the stove. And then I've got my Italian bread, some cream cheese, and then Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. And for the kids, I'll just put some of that on it. And then they love bacon, so I'll just give them some of that on the side because they're picky and probably wouldn't eat it on the sandwich. So what I'm going to do for the jalapenos is stick them in the air fryer to cook them with a little bit of cream cheese in them. Not like too much, not heaping or anything, just level with the jalapeno. And then we'll assemble the grilled cheese and I'm going to try to cook it in the air fryer. We'll see how it goes. cheese I'm buttering the outsides of the bread. For assembling the grilled cheese I've got my Colby Jack. I'm gonna use like a piece and a half for it. Well I actually might put some on the other side too. bacon and the jalapenos they only took like five minutes in the air fryer but they had this like film on them that kind of freaks me out so I'm peeling it off <laughs> So here's mine. It's definitely really cheesy and I'm excited. I've got some grapes on the side and then here's the kids. Their grilled cheese is in the air fryer right now. And then Travis, I'll make his when he gets home. He's working late today. So this is what we're having for supper tonight. Tonight we've got an easy meal. I'm gonna make some cheeseburger pasta. So I got this rigatoni noodles and then a pound of lean ground beef. I've got the cream cheese that I'd used for the jalapeno popper um, grilled cheeses and I'd only used a tiny bit so it actually calls for a block of cream cheese, the recipe that I'm using, but I think this will be plenty so I'm just going to use the rest of that. I've got some sharp cheddar cheese, three fourths a cup of milk, and then some onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. So the first thing I'm going to do is cook the meat and boil the noodles. Okay, so I've drained the grease out of the ground beef and I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of the salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of the onion powder into it. It is quiet in my house tonight. The boys ran to Walmart to grab a couple things. We were out of some cat food and stuff, so they went to do that. So I'm not used to this quiet <laughs> while I'm cooking in here. I can usually hear them playing in the room. So I'm just gonna stir that around get those seasonings in there a little bit and then add the cream cheese and I've got three cups of cheese I only had two cups of shredded cheddar cheese so I added a cup of fiesta blend cheese and I'm just gonna stir all that in there until it's good and melted before adding in the milk and hopefully it's all gonna fit in this little pan oh man y'all this is not working out this ain't fitting at all. <laughs> Once that pasta's done, I'm gonna mix it together in the bigger pot. My big one, my big skillet that I like to use is actually still sitting in the sink dirty because I have to hand wash it and I just haven't felt like doing it yet. So it's still sitting in the sink. <laughs> Once this is melted in, we're gonna add in our milk a little bit at a time. It's gonna make like a little yummy sauce to go with it. Mm -hmm. 
goodness, that is some thick stuff. So I'm gonna start adding in my milk now. I think it's melted enough anyway, right? So the noodles are done. I'm gonna pour this meat mixture, the sauce or whatever you wanna call it, into the pasta. Yes, the stove is still a mess. I'm in a hurry. We're late for supper. It's like seven something right now. Um, we were downtown walking and Grant wanted to play Pokemon Go. So him and Travis did that tonight. So let's get this mixed up and then it's time to eat. hear that? That sounds so gross. <laughs> so here we have it. We've got our cheeseburger pasta. It is very thick, but I think it's going to be very cheesy and good. And then my go-to side when I'm in a hurry, green beans that I just cooked in the microwave with some butter, salt, and pepper. And this is what we're having for supper tonight. Tonight I'm going to be making a salad. It's going to be like a chicken southwestern salad. I had got this chicken a couple weeks ago and I got a really good deal on it at Publix in southwestern style. I'll probably just pop that into the air fryer and cook it that way. Got some lettuce to cut up, tortilla strips for that, some corn and black beans. This is for the salad part. And then to go with that, I'm making a cilantro lime dressing, which I'm really excited for because Travis doesn't like cilantro, so I don't have it that often, but I'm making some um, dressing with cilantro in it. So and I love cilantro, so I think it's gonna be good. I've got some green onions for that, cilantro, lime, four cloves of garlic, we've got some Greek yogurt, honey, you could use um, sugar instead of that, and you could use mayo or sour cream probably in place of that. And then I've got some olive oil, salt and pepper. So I'm gonna whip this dressing up first and have that sitting in the fridge while I work on the rest of the stuff. I've got all my ingredients set out. I cut up like two green onions. I didn't use much of them, so it's probably the equivalent to one green onion. I've got four cloves of garlic that I minced up and just ignore the sounds of the background. The kids are playing in their room and they, their favorite game to play is superheroes where they beat each other up. So <laughs> that's what we're dealing with. Um, I'm just going to add all the other ingredients into my little ninja here and put the lid on and blend it up until it's real, you know, into dressing. <laughs> I've got three fourths a cup of cilantro here that I'm going to just add in there. I just did mainly the leaves because I really don't know if you're supposed to use the stems or not. So I just did the leaves and that's what we're going to use. We're going to do half a cup of Greek yogurt. And then for the lime juice, I'm going to squeeze it into this bowl first just to make it easier to measure out how much I'm going to use. I don't know why that is so satisfying, but I love squeezing lemons and limes in this thing. So three tablespoons of lime juice, four tablespoons of olive oil or avocado oil is what the recipe actually calls for, but we don't have any, so I'm just using olive oil. So one, two, three, and four. The next thing is a teaspoon of honey or sugar if you'd rather do sugar. Half a teaspoon of pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. So that's all there is to it. And we're just gonna put the lid on it and blend it all up until it turns into dressing. <laughs> salad if y'all use like a salad spinner or anything let me know what you use down in the comments down below I don't have one but I think it'd be really handy instead of me sitting here dabbing it with paper towels until it's dry and then it's still being slightly wet if that's even how a salad spinner works I don't know but if you have one that you love then let me know in the comments down below and um, I'm just gonna use all of my toppings and put those all on well I'll start with the chicken it turned out really good in the air fryer, but if you don't have an air fryer, on the back of that package it also says 
to either heat it on the skillet or in the microwave. So still super simple to heat up. I cut mine into smaller pieces because I don't like them very big. And I've already given the kids, they're pretty much gonna have like a deconstructed salad on their plate. I might do some fruit too. Um, so we've got that. Some corn, I'm just using my hands. Might even pull out some guacamole out of the fridge. I've got little packs of that. If you watch my grocery hauls, you know what I'm talking about. It's a little Holly guacamoles in visual packs. Some black beans, not too many. Travis, I don't think likes black beans that much, so I'll give him as many. The little tortilla strips. And my dressing, this is what it turned out looking like. Travis will probably have ranch on his. Oh, and I did try the dressing already, and it's good, y'all. It's really yummy. If you like cilantro. If not, you're gonna hate it. <laughs> so there we have it. This is the salad, nice and colorful. Like I said, we might have some fruit with it, but this is what we're having for supper tonight. Just kidding, I'm back real quick to say that I am adding some Fiesta Blend cheese on it. I'm telling you, if there's ever a recipe that I wanna put cheese on top, I always forget to tell you guys. So I am adding some cheese on top as well. Tonight I'm going to be making something called zucchini chicken nachos and I've got two chicken breasts in the instant pot. They're cooking. I've got um, a cup of chicken broth cooking with those. I usually just use water when I don't have chicken broth though. Um, and then I've got two zucchinis that you just saw me cut up. And so I'll start with what I'm going to do with the zucchini first. I'm going to do three tablespoons of olive oil and then some salt and pepper to taste and a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt and just toss that around right here and stick it in the oven on 425 degrees for five minutes. Just get those soft before adding the chicken. Chicken is done in the Instant Pot and I've been shredding it up. I had to put this one back in because it wasn't quite done yet. So I'm just gonna shred all this up and then mix it with some barbecue sauce to my liking before putting it all over the zucchini. Now I'm gonna sprinkle some Fiesta Blend cheese all over it and then probably drizzle a little bit of barbecue sauce and ranch on top and put it in the oven for seven to 10 minutes. Here's how they turned out. I've got some cornbread in the oven to go with it, but I'm about to chow down on some zucchini nachos. They smell really good. Um, and I love zucchini, so I'm sure it's gonna be good. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, if you did, I would appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel and for other people to get to see it as well. And leave me a comment down below and tell me what your all's favorite meal was that you had this past week. I love um, reading those each week when I ask you guys that. But anyway, until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.